Okay, that's all very interesting. And earlier on, when we covered definitions, mm -hmm. you talked about the facilitative and voluntariness yes. of the mediation process. And now mm. you're saying that parties will be invited to attend a mediation, mm -hmm. and unless they attend, or if they don't attend, have mm -hmm. a, a good reason not to, but, reason. but there's so much scope in there. Yes. It, it, it feels to some extent that there is an element of coercion into the process. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I know whether you call it kind of um, quasi-mandatory mediation or mandatory mediation by the back door, um, it depends a little bit on how this, inter this provision will be interpreted and applied by the courts, you know, how, um, I suppose, enthusiastically they will use cost penalties for unreasonable refusal. Um, the Act also doesn't contain a definition of unreasonable refusal. Um, so I imagine that judges will have to have recourse to case law in that area, a lot of which actually comes from, from the English courts. Um, but it, it does have implications, all right, for, for uh, parties and their lawyers, um, because while, you know, on the one hand, the access is voluntary, it's voluntary, it's voluntary. And yet if the court invites you and you don't have a good reason for not going, you could be penalized. So you kind of have to ask the question of just how voluntary that is. And I would imagine that we will see increasingly see lawyers very wisely recommending to their parties to at least give mediation a go if they don't have a good reason not to, um, so that they uh, don't risk these cost penalties. It, it's going to be interesting because there are some cases, there has been a line of case law looking at the whole idea of, uh, you know, proposals to mediate and kind of particularly when one party says to the other, oh, hey, let's mediate at the last minute and the court has found that that hasn't been a genuine invitation, that it's really been just to kind of maximise that party's position vis-a-vis -vis costs. So there is definitely already an awareness of the connection between invitations to mediate acceptance of those invitations and potential cost penalties. And these provisions have, have the potential to really generate a regime whereby it will be very foolish not to at least attempt to mediate or to get in there with the invitation to mediate first before your opposite number does, you know. So, um, you know, parties beware and lawyers will have to be aware of that. Um, because lawyers, of course, then also, which is coming on to the next section, have other significant obligations under this Act.